Hi everybody, I'm Lady Red and this is Lady Red's Tech Reviews. Today we're going to take a quick look and unbox the Moto G Stylus 2021 by Cricut Wireless. So stay here. Leave a like on the video if you enjoy the content. Drop a comment if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell and get all the notifications for the new videos. So I grabbed up the Moto G Stylus 2021 from Cricut as soon as it became available in limited markets. Thank you, Mill Hustles, for sending me the link and telling me all about it because it is not available in every market. But if you can find it online or in stores, it is a Walmart exclusive. Pricing availability may vary. Uh, it's also available unlocked on the Motorola website. Um, I had to have it. I snatched it up and we're going to take a quick look and unbox it today. There will be future videos to go further in depth later. So let's take a look at it. Okay, and here it is going to be in retail packaging. Um, boxes are different in stores than they are in big box stores. Without further ado, I have waited all day to unbox this. Inside, you've got your fast charging charging block. This is a high output charger, as with all Motorola's. Type C charging cord. Volume 1 of Stuff People Don't Read. Volume 2 of Stuff People Don't Read. Volume 3 of Stuff People Don't Read. And Volume 4 of Stuff People Don't Read your SIM key. We're going to need that. If you are upgrading and you are ordering online, um, you don't even need this. If you are activating your phone, you will need this. But if you are upgrading, you can simply take the SIM card out of your old phone and pop it right into the new one. And we have the device. Let's all this out of the way. Oh, it's got good weight. Very good weight. Not too heavy, not too light. I don't like a phone that's overly light. Easier to drop those. Right off the bat, we are looking at a beautiful build. The stylus is popped out down here, so you can see it right here. We'll get to that later. I'm gonna pop it back in. It is spring loaded. On the bottom, you've got a bottom firing speaker, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, type C charging port, and we have the Cricut Tramp Stamp, and a little bit different back design. It's the darker steel gray, but it's got a little grid pattern to it. I like that. Here you have your quad cam set up, and your fingerprint scanner is going to be on the side and I really like it. I have a side-mounted fingerprint scanner on my Z3, and that's where I first became acquainted with it, and I really enjoy it. Uh, your volume rocker, volume up and down, and no Google Assistant key, I am proud to say. And here is your SIM slot. We'll get the SIM card in there shortly. On the top, you just have your secondary microphone, and here is your main uh, speaker and your front camera. So let's fire it up. Okay, now for the setup, I do have my SIM card. And what we are going to notice here, this is as far as we can go. Because uh, this is a locked device. This is something new. I've not seen this yet. This may be just because it's a retail phone. I'm not really sure. But this is the first time I'm seeing this. Um, locked device, you got to put a SIM card in it. There's no way to pass it. So we're going to go ahead and pop my SIM card in it. Actually, I have several comments in various videos. 
people asking where does the SIM card go? This is how you insert the SIM card. You always want to do this over a table just in case you drop it. Alright, now that we've got the SIM card in, start. And I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi. Okay, so we are all set up and ready to go. As you can see, it feels really good. It has a good weight to it. It's got that 4,000 milliamp per hour battery plus this huge 6.8 inch build. And I've got to say, it feels really good in the hand. We're going to take a look at the settings. First, going down in here to the system, because I don't even have the full specs for this phone yet, which will, of course, be at the end of this video. So let's see what we've got here that it will let us see. Multiple users. We're only going to have one of those. Reset options, backup, date and time, gestures. This is my favorite thing about Motorola. You get more gestures with Motorola than you do most other phones. Uh, jump to camera. I don't even like that one. We're going to leave that off. Uh, system navigation is gesture. Now, you can turn the buttons back on. Now, with some phones, I do like the buttons, but Motorola is pretty easy to deal with with gesture navigation. Power touch. Double tap the power key for quick shortcuts. Three finger screenshot, as always, my favorite next to the fast flashlight. This is probably the one I use more than anything else. Quick capture, I keep that turned off at all times because I took a lot of pocket pictures that way. Swipe to split, see apps and split screen by swiping back and forth. All right. Adaptive performance is on. This will help improve your RAM. Uh, it'll make your phone run a lot smoother. It prevents a lot of apps from running in the background. All right, and let's see about um, hardware, Moto G Stylus 2021, your IMEI, hardware information. We've got four gigs of RAM. You asked for it, you got it. 4 gigs of RAM, you asked for more memory, Motorola delivered, 128 gigs of memory, internal storage, stock Androids, you're going to have a lot of space. Display 2400 by 1080, we've got 4 gigs of RAM, you asked for it, you got it, you wanted more than 3, Motorola has delivered that to you, 128 gigs of storage, you asked for more, you got more. Display 2400 by 1080, you're 48 megapixel by 2 by 8 by 2 for your quad cam setup. Again, more detailed specs at the end of the video. We are running Android 10. To open developer options, you want to look for build number right down here at the bottom. And you're going to tap, 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 tap. And your screen lock. And now we have open developer options. Let's see what's available in the developer options. Memory now. After some use you may want to check this just to see how uh, well your, your RAM management is. Lock screen when trust is lost. If enabled device will lock when the last trust agent loses trust. Let's turn that on. USB debugging, revoke debugging. This is all pretty standard stuff here. See feature flags. What's this? Experimental. That's new. Uh, game driver. If you're a heavy gamer, you might want to modify that. But for your average use, leave it alone. Wireless display enable verbose logging. Wi-Fi scan throttling reduces battery and drains and reduces battery drain. And improves network performance. Tethering hardware acceleration. Uh, all of this is pretty standard. Uh, something else I do like to do, we're going through it's all pretty standard stuff. Uh, you get a little faster transition from screen to screen, app to app, by turning off animations. So that's something I do with every phone. 
display yeah everything else is pretty sad. override four star overrides the four star feature to be always on I do prefer dark mode I didn't see that in here some phones it will be in the developer options Yeah, pretty much everything is standard. Theming, accent color, device default. Let's see what our choices are. Hey, lots of nice choices here. My favorite, purple. Icon shape. Hmm, what's a squircle? Let's try that. All right, now. We've changed a few things. Let's go uh, and see what else we've got here. Manage your stylus features. Let's see what all the stylus can do. When the device is locked, it opens Moto Note. When the device is unlocked, show the shortcuts. All right. Um, removal reminder. Send notification when the stylus has been out for a period of time without use. That vibrate when inserted. Okay, before I even do anything at all, we are going to make sure all of these are turned off because uh, this up here, especially unless this is a service that you need and you want to use, make sure that it's turned off because you will accidentally turn on TalkBack and your phone will drive you crazy. Font size largest, display size default. I like mine a little bigger just because I'm not always wearing my glasses and uh I'm mostly blind, so. Large mouse pointer, I don't turn that on. Um, power button, lens call, I don't like that either. Sometimes I accidentally hit the power button while I'm on the phone. Time to take action, accessibility timeout. Uh, vibration strength and haptic strength. Live caption, audio balance, always in the middle for me. Alright, and moving right along, um, you're going to have some different security features with this one. Uh, Google Play Protect, which is coming standard on all new devices. Um, you're going to have your most recent security update shown here. Find My Device is always on. I've lost way too many phones for it to not be on. And you're going to see your Google Play system up. They have selected the screen lock. Now, if you're using fingerprint or face unlock you always have to back it up do not lock your screen your sim card you will end up having to call customer service to get a PUK code all right and storage we're gonna see this is before I remove any bloatware we're going to see down here the system apps only take up 14 gigs, which is much less than an LG or a Samsung that is going to have a lot of um, branded apps. So and that's one reason I love Motorola because we do have stock Android. I want the space. So next, moving right along, this is where we're going to be able to adjust. It's pretty loud. Yeah, that's pretty loud. Touch sounds, pick up silence, pick up the phone to silence the ringer. Yes, we're going to turn that on. Flip through to not disturb. We're going to not turn that on because I keep my phone upside down a lot. Media controls, use the volume keys to change tracks when the screen is off. That's not a big deal to me. All right, let's see what they have pre-installed this time. And we're going to be taking a lot of this stuff out. Um, to take out games and whatever that you don't want in your phone, this is all you have to do. You just go through here. This is actually an AT&T thing that came in with a backup. Candy Crush, I don't play that. This is all you have to do. And of course, it's going to show your screen time, 16 minutes. 
uh, default apps, permissions. Something I do want to show, how to turn off notifications. We're going to open Chrome. I do this for a lot of my customers because Chrome does send some pretty funky notifications to people's phones. Little old blue hair ladies get really nasty notifications from Chrome sometimes. That's the easiest way to shut that off. Turn them all off as soon as you get your phone. Alright. Okay, now let's take a look at that camera. So I have spent some time just playing with the camera, point and shoot. You've seen maybe some pictures um, posted to Twitter or to Instagram, to Facebook. And all I can say is, wow, this camera is impressive. Um, the macro, while it's trying to do this, will automatically switch on when you're close to something. And to enable it, all you're going to do is click switch to macro and you'll be able to take pictures of things really close up. Like this is my cat's vaccination tag. Um, you can see how close you can get to that. Like super, super close. And then we're going to switch back out. Standard. Even close up. It's standard. It's not bad. It is kind of blurry, so there is definitely a difference. Uh, and this is the wide angle, okay? This is what we're going to see. One, standard. 0.5, there's your wide angle. Just like that. And you're going to notice a little difference in the colors, too. Um, I want to show you some that I have taken uh, using standard and wide angle. Okay, so this is with standard. This is my backyard. This was yesterday about dusk. Okay, and this is with the wide angle. And what I am noticing is a little blur through here. With all the little sticks on the trees and here. <laughs> Fix lighting, press and hold to compare. Yeah, I don't want to change it. I'm going to leave it just like it is. Now, that adjusting the settings could clean that up. Uh, we're going to do a more in-depth camera review, and um, that's going to take some time. So here's just point and shoot. That's all this is. Um, point and shoot. There's Bo Duke posing because he is just beautiful, isn't he? He thinks he is. He is a prince. But you can see really good detail um you can see all of his fur you know it's not all blended together um you can see his whiskers there's nothing blurry about it or blended everything is a good sharp um contrast and distinction good detail there okay now this is yesterday morning same scene um turn that off there we go now we're not seeing the blurring now this is the standard Okay, and there is the wide angle. Now, the blurring I'm noticing is with lower light because here is the exact same spot. I'm standing right outside my back door and you can see here is where it was blurry before. It's not there now. So the blurring and the digitizing, that is going to be related to your lighting. Um, so maybe you want to keep that in mind. So you've got your video mode here and... Then your settings, you're going to have portrait cutout, spot color. Spot color is really cool if you're just wanting to do something creative and funky and cool. Night vision is fantastic, y'all. Night vision is where it's at. Let me show you some night vision. Okay, there is absolutely no light in my backyard. My light was turned off. This was last night about 10 o'clock. Um, you can see here. You can see the dark in the sky, and you can adjust, you can point, and you'll tap on the screen where you want the light focus to be. This is just a branch off of the tree that was, you know, a few feet in front of me. Um, another one, now that is my neighbor's yard. Let's get a little better view of that. That is my neighbor's yard. You can see there was more light, but again, that was just, um, I took one picture, turned, and took the next picture. Um, so you can see if there is some ambient light, it will pick that up even better. Uh, the night vision is really, really cool. I'm, I'm very impressed with the night vision. Uh, 
Also, in the, you've got Cinemagraph. That's where you want to make giphies, panoramics, group selfies. Group selfies is really cool because you don't have you can get more people into that picture. Live filter and professional mode. And we haven't gone. I haven't started with professional mode yet. I am not a photographer. So all of this is a very um, unique experience for me because I am not a photographer. I just don't take great pictures. Uh, video, you have slow motion, time lapse, and spot color with video. And again, there will be a more in-depth review featuring camera and features in the very near future. Now, what we've also got in your settings menu, you're going to be able to choose your photo size full, uh, your resolution, choices, you know, you've got the 48 megapixel quad pixel and then you've got your 32. Ooh, back it up, there we go. Uh, HDR is always on, I like that HD. Uh, uh, selfie photo mirror, that's just where it mirrors, it flips it around. Capture setting, quick capture, I keep that off, that's where you can flip your hand around and um, turn on the camera. I take a lot of pocket pictures that way. Uh, shutter sound, uh, the leveler, that's so you can take a good level shot. Keep the last mode. Um, we're going to turn that back off because I've tried using that and I'm ending up taking videos when I should be taking pictures. And the watermark, you can turn that on. Auto smile capture, automatically capture from everyone in the frame when they're smiling. That's kind of cool. Uh, gesture selfie, um, so show your palm to take a selfie. Smart composition automatically and implement the rule of thirds. We're going to definitely be exploring these in the um, upcoming in-depth video. Shot optimization, enhanced photos, automatic tuning, and AI scene detection. The Google Lens, we're going to go ahead and turn that off. Uh, save your location. I don't care about that. Efficient videos. Reduce file size to... Oh, we no, we don't care about that. I have plenty of storage. So there we go. Those are your different settings for your camera. And once again, we will be going in depth with that later on. So we're going to go over the stylus super fast because there will be an in-depth review, an in-depth look at the features. So stylus is out. You're going to get this nice little menu here. Okay. Take a screenshot, and then you're going to write on it. Whatever, tap the pen. It's going to draw in blue to change the color. You're going to want to tap it and say you want to write it in white. And that's how you would take a screenshot and change it, you know, write on it with your stylus. Okay. Next, you're going to tap the stylus menu. You're going to draw. Say you want a color. Obviously, you're not going to want a color with that. So, to change the color, you're going to tap the pin down here. And this is going to come up. You'll have, you know, and there you go. Obviously, you're going to want to do better than that. But you get the idea. Okay. Discard and swipe it up to dismiss it tap it again okay camera roll let's see tap and hold to record got it so we're going to tap and hold just going to record that that's my laptop draw with the brush where you want to see motion use the eraser on areas you want to freeze so that would be pretty cool we're going to go over this a little more detail in a uh, another video okay and Take a note right here. You're going to come up with your Google Notes. And as you can see, I use a lot of Google Notes. And there are, and you'll also have quick access right here to your shortcuts for your stylus. If you just want to doodle. There you go. There's your Moto G Stylus 2021.
and pop it right back in. So what do you think about it? Is this going to be your next phone? I highly recommend it. Um, I'm coming from an older flagship from my um, Z2F and I had a Z3 uh, to this one. And I've got to say, I am so impressed. Um, it is smooth. It is fast. The camera is fantastic. And the screen display is really nice. I thought it would be kind of hard because it is big and that does take a little getting used to because of the size. But I really do enjoy this phone. Um, it's available online. There's a link down in the description for it and there will be further videos. Stay tuned. Stay right here for the specs that will follow this. And as always, like it if you enjoyed the content. Subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to ring that bell and get the notifications for all the upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching. Here's your specs rolling now.